Ea kamo o ku el hau o na lii pili a ke ho kalo le ma. O ku anu uanu ke kane o umi ulai ka ahu manu ka vahine hana o heulu he kane. Moyaku neo iku ana ya heulu hana o ke ave a heulu he kane. Moyaku neo ke ave a heulu ya ululani hana o ke oho hiva he vahine. Moyaku neo ke oho hiva ya ke po o kalani hana o ai kanaka he kane. Moyaku neo ai kanaka ya kamae. Hana o ke oho kalo le hewa hine. Moe aku ne o ke oho kalo le ya ka paakea. Hana o ka maka eha hewa hine. E ola. Aloha mai kako. My name is Alyssa Purcell and I am currently a PhD student in the political science program at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. And today, we're going to talk about mo'o ku o ho. The Hawaii State Archives houses a series of 54 genealogy books that span across the islands of Hawaii, Maui, Kauai, and Oahu, and center various figures such as Queen Liliuokalani, the last reigning monarch of the Hawaiian Kingdom. However, genealogy is not a sufficient enough term to encapsulate everything Mo'oku El Hau represents. The mo'o aspect of mo'oku oho evokes the resiliency of a lizard's tail, the fierce and life-giving nature of water deities, and even the relationality that exists between relatives or even aina. The oho aspect calls to mind Hawaiian practices of paying tribute to the community and evokes the respect and reciprocity involved in those processes. When we speak our ancestors' names, we remember them. But beyond that, we activate them, their stories, memories, and mana, all of which shapes our understanding of the present as well as our vision for the future. In this vein, mo'o ku o ho is the foundation of Hawaiian identity. Therefore, it is essential that we reconnect with it. Queen Lili Uokalani modeled this understanding all throughout her life. During her imprisonment at Iolani Palace in 1895, Lili Uokalani translated the Kumulipo, a long and illustrious mo'oku oho of the Hawaiian universe. A year later, on June 9, 1896, a book detailing her mo'oku oho was created in support of her claim as the heir of all lands and properties belonging to the Kamehamehas. That same year, 1896, the Republic of Hawaii banned the use of the Hawaiian language in all schools. And in using both Hawaiian and English, Queen Lili Uokalani traces and activates her connection to the Kamehameha family through Umi Ulai Ka'ahu Manu, a woman who birthed many, many strong lineages. And while this lineage has been published in newspapers, in books, and even in court documents, I recite the version from page 52 of the first book in the genealogy series as there is a lot we can learn from its structure, its repetition, and even its diction. For example, the repetition of moyakune and hanao emphasizes the active and creative force of mo'oku oho in shaping the Hawaiian universe. Beyond just sleep or bed, moi also refers to the action of prostrating yourself before an ali'i out of respect. Moi is also to lay down your cards, to lie in wait and ambush, and even to dream. And Hanau embodies the birth and creativity of not only humans, but also animals, aina, and even ideas. This mo'oku oho reminds us that it is still living. It lives through us, through our engagement, our voices, and even our research. So let's remember Queen Lili Uokalani and engage with her intellectual legacy, which has a very strong powerful and active presence in her writings and compositions at the Hawaii State Archives. Mahalo Nui.